hit after hit after hit. According to Brainline.org, some 3.8 million concussions occur in the United States per year during competitive sports. The most common sport, football. But as many as 50% of concussions go unreported. The only concussion that I, like, personally saw happen, it was a freak accident. I know people that have had multiple concussions. Now, as protective technology advances, are concussions actually becoming more preventable? In order to break this down, we have to first look at the science. Concussions are brain injuries caused by a blow to the head. So no matter how protective your helmet claims to be, in short, no helmet can prevent a concussion. That's according to kidshealth.org, who says some special sports helmets and other new products claim that they can protect you from concussions. But studies don't back up these claims. Case in point, a 2019 study from the National High School Sports-Related Injury Surveillance Study that found the number of diagnosed concussions in high school sports increased by more than 15 percent from 2005 to 2016. We gathered data on numerous Northwest Florida high school football programs who spend anywhere from $5,000 to $8,000 a year on helmet reconditioning. But there's no guarantee that the helmets are concussion proof. If you're a 10 or 11 year old kid and you've had two or three concussions, you need to take up golf. Mike Oliver is executive director of the National Operating Committee on Standards for Athletic Equipment, a nonprofit known for setting the helmet standard, followed by almost every high school program in America. Mike, what's the likelihood that a helmet will ever be able to fully prevent a concussion? I don't think the likelihood is very high, uh, but it's not because of a lack of technology or, or performance. The problem is that there are no two concussions that are alike. Oliver tells me protective technology has come a long way even in just the last decade, but there are other factors at play. Helmets aside, how much does technique play a factor in preventing a concussion? Oh, tremendous, tremendous factor. In fact, helmets are like fourth or fifth on the list of things that you need to do to prevent a concussion. We wanted your reaction on the hard hitting topic, so we took to social media. Seven people may not be much, but a unanimous vote between users that bad technique causes more concussions over bad helmets. I think if you play with good technique, you'll be fine. I'm Tanner Stewart reporting.